welcome to all uh, in this video we are going to see uh, ccna routing and switching module 2 packet tracer activity configuring vlans in this packet tracer we are going to uh, verify the default vlan configuration uh, and we are going to configure vlans finally we will assign vlans to different ports now we will come to part 2 1 uh, view the default VLAN configuration. Uh, display the current VLANs. On S1, issue the command that displays all VLANs configured. By default, all interfaces are assigned to VLAN 1. Yes, so we will uh, check this on S1. Here is our S1. Yes. We'll go to enable, we'll give the command show VLAN brief. And here we can see all the interfaces uh, from fast Ethernet to 0 slash 1 to uh, 24 and 2 uh, gigabit Ethernet uh, are belongs to uh, uh, de default VLAN 1. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Uh, verify connectivity between PCs on the same network. Uh, notice that each PC can ping the other PC that shares the same network. So PC1 can ping PC4, PC2 can ping PC5, PC3 can ping PC6. Pings to uh, PCs uh, in other networks fails. Coming to the topology, here we can see PC1 and PC4 can communicate. PC2 and PC5, they are in the same network and PC3 and PC6 in the same network. So we will uh, check it. First we will come to PC1 and we will ping to uh, PC4 using the ping 172.17.10.24 We are getting the reply. Uh, we will try to ping from PC1 to PC5. So that is 172.17.20.25 Yes, we are not getting the reply because uh, PC1 and PC5 uh, are different uh, networks, so it won't communicate. Now uh, we will check from PC2. Pink 172.17.20.25. Yes, we are getting the reply. And uh, also we will check from PC3 to PC6. We have a pink 172.17.30.26. Yes, we are getting the reply. So what is the benefit uh, will configuring VLANs uh, provide to the current configuration? Yes. Uh, so the primary benefits are like security, cost reduction, high performance, uh, broadcast storm mitigations, etc. Now we will go to uh, part 2, configure VLANs. Uh, step 1, create and name VLANs on S1. Create the following VLANs. Uh, names are case sensitive. Yes, for uh, scoring the marks for this packet tracer activity. Uh, these uh, names, uh, I mean the VLAN names are case sensitive. Uh, we are going to create this VLAN, uh, VLAN 10 uh, faculty slash staff, VLAN 20 students, VLAN 30 guest default, VLAN 99 management and native. Now we are going to create uh, these VLANs on S1. Right. So we have to go to configure terminal. Here we are going to create VLAN 10. And we have to specify the name. Uh, we will check the name. Uh, faculty slash staff. So yes. Now we will create VLAN 20. And the name is uh, students, VLAN 30, the name is 
guest default okay and uh, uh, vlan 99 and here the name is management and native yes now we will come to uh, step 2 uh, verify the vlan configuration uh, which command uh, will only display the vlan name status and associated ports on a switch yes in the beginning itself uh, we verified with the help of a show command uh, that is a show vlan brief we will verify this vlan configuration on all the switches s1 s2 and s3 uh, after configuring uh, vlan uh, now we will uh, come to the next step uh, create the vlans on s2 and s3 uh, using the same commands from step 1 create and name the same vlans on s2 and s3 yes we have seen here uh, four vlans uh, 10 20 30 and 99 with uh, names uh, all these vlans we are going to create on s2 and s3 we will do it on s2 configure terminal oh, we have to give enable configure terminal and we are going to create vlan 10 and we are going to name as a faculty slash staff next is a vlan 20 name is a students VLAN 30 name is uh, guest default and uh, VLAN 99 name is uh, management and native now we are going to uh, do it on uh, S3 enable configure terminal uh, we are going to create vlan 10 and the name is uh, oops, faculty slash staff vlan 20 uh, name is uh, students vlan 30 name is uh, guest default and uh, vlan 99 for the management and native we have to give the name management and native yes we configured uh, vlan on s2 and uh, s3 also now we will come to uh, step 4 uh, verify the vlan configuration uh, we will verify on each switch s1 s2 and s3 coming to s1 we will check with the show uh, vlan brief yes here we can see uh, the vlan what we created we'll come to s2 show vlan brief yes here we can see the four vlans created and coming to S3 show VLAN brief here also we can see the four VLAN what we created now we will come to uh, part 3 assign VLANs to ports so step 1 assign VLANs to the active ports on S2 assign the VLANs to the following ports VLAN 10 we must assign to fast third to 0 slash 11 uh, VLAN 20 we have to assign to fast third to 0 slash 18 and 30 uh, fast third to 0 slash 6 now we will come to S2 and we will configure uh, VLAN uh, I mean we will assign the VLAN to uh, ports okay 
enable configure terminal uh, so this vlan 10 we are going to assign to uh, faster thernet 0 slash 11 so we have to get into that interface uh, faster thernet 0 slash 11 and we are going to assign vlan 10 so switch port access vlan 10 and to VLAN 20 we have to assign to fast Ethernet 0 slash 18 so we have to go to interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 18 and we are going to assign switch port access VLAN 20 VLAN 30 we have to assign to fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 so we have to go to the interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 and we are going to assign that switch port access VLAN 30. Now we will come to uh, step 2 uh, assign VLANs to the active ports on S3. Uh, S3 uses the same VLAN access port assignments as S2. Yes, so S3 also we are going to assign VLANs uh, to these interfaces. Uh, I mean uh, FA 0 slash 11, 0 slash 18 and 0 slash uh, 6. Yes, uh, on S3 in this topology we can see uh, uh, here the interface uh, 0 slash 11, this is 0 slash 18 and this is 0 slash 6. Coming to S3, okay. Configure terminal, we have to go to the interface, the fast Ethernet 0 slash 11, and we will assign a switch port access VLAN 10. Now we will go to the interface, uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 18, and we will assign a switch port access VLAN 20. And uh, finally, to the interface, uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 and the switch port uh, access VLAN is uh, 30. Yes. Now we will go to uh, the final step, uh, verify a loss of connectivity. Uh, previously, PCs that shared the same network could ping each other successfully. Uh, try pinging uh, between PC1 and PC4. Although the access ports are assigned to the appropriate VLANs, were the ping successful? Why? What could be done to resolve this issue? Yes, uh, before these questions, uh, we will uh, uh, ping from PC1 to PC4. Coming to PC1. Command prompt. Here I am going to ping to PC4. Uh, that is a 10 to 24 yes here it is waiting for the uh, reply we can see request timed out it is we are not getting the reply yes it's a request timed out No, we are not getting the replay. Yes, we seen that the ping from PC1 to PC4 uh, is failed. Uh, so, why it is failed? Because obviously the ports between the switches, again the port between the switches are in VLAN 1 and PC1 and PC4 are in VLAN 10. So, that's why uh, these two PCs, uh, PC1 and PC4 not communicated each other. Then how we can resolve this issue? Yes, we have a concept called trunk ports. Uh, we have to configure uh, ports between uh, the switches uh, as uh, trunk ports. We got another packet tracer activity for uh, configuring these uh, uh, trunk ports. Yes, uh, we done uh, the packet tracer activity uh, configuring VLANs. Uh, from CCNA routing and uh, switching module 2 if you like my videos give a thumb and also if you have any doubt you can comment below also if you like to get my uploading video information into your gmail uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel stay tuned thank you